All right, we're gonna continue off in this part now. Gotta find to do something with Gamora, apparently. Gamora can cut out certain objects. What do you mean? Can she cut this? What else is there? That crate is being held up by this crane. Oh. Let's see that fancy footwork, Gamora. Bet you can't do this. No, I can't. That is physically impossible. Drax can lift. Oh. Oh, Drax, I get it. Think you can have that container? Behold the might of a Katathian warrior. I hear right. Here's good. Done. Remember this moment, should you ever think of crossing me, assassin. I'll remember how slow. <laughs> Yo, the dialogue is actually funny. All right, Rocket. We're back on track. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, good for you. Oh, yeah. It ain't stealing if it's abandoned. We. Oh, fuck. Rocket. Not now, Quill. Rocket. Perhaps he has located our monster. We don't even know what it looks like. The intel was extremely vague. It wasn't vague, it was rushed. It's probably some cute little... Nightmarish abomination. Lady Hellbender is a renowned warrior. An ideal specimen would reflect that strength. Like I said, something scary. Disagree. Strength is endearing. I bet it's something cute. Women dig the cute stuff, right? Yes. All women in the entire universe get weak in the knees when they see something fluffy. Lady Hellbender is an exceptional female. She would desire only the most worthy of pets. You've never seen a baby otter playing with its hands. I cannot refute this. Uh, we can make a bridge. There is a distinct sensation navigating this wreck. Katathians call it the Shadow's Gaze. And now that you mention it, I have felt like I was being watched. Perhaps our prey is stalking us. I say, let it come. Hmm. Ever see the remains of a planet after one of these things mined it? They mined whole planets? Everybody needed war resources as fast as possible. Many systems out there are now just scattered debris. Were those systems uninhabited? Depends on who was doing the drilling. Wait, there, damn, how do I get him up? And your huddle gauge is full trigger the huddle with L1 R1. Got a special ability? What the? It feels like they're everywhere, laughing at us. And yet, we cannot retreat. No one wants to retreat, big guy, but I gotta say, it's barking scary out there, Quill. Clarkdark's on the field, danger on all sides. Then it's time we stand and face it and make sure they're nullified. Are we heroes to be laughed at? No! I'll laugh at them instead. Who's with me? Victory is ours! Bring it on! Feel it! I will succeed it. Both you and the Guardian get a damage boost. Had you chosen wrong, only you would have gotten it. We're gonna lose the thing. Oh. Yeah, you know, but we, 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 we
No, okay, I can see this combat go a lot harder. Let me get abilities though. Two, okay, I need two. Bumper spot is this way. How do you know? My senses are fine-tuned to measure even the tiniest vibrations. Really? No, I'm tracking it on my display. It looks like it's still got some juice. Give it a go, Rocket. What a genius at work! You are a miracle worker, man. This tech was built by people who make holes in giant floating space rocks. I have to say, that is an immaculate parking job. Thanos never tolerated imperfection. <laughs> never been a problem for Quill. Thanos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is it. Last spot. to be out of here. This place feels like it's about to collapse on itself. I cannot wait to meet our monster. I thought you were mostly interested in meeting the buyer. She is a respectable collector. Is it working? Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, sunshine. <laughs> Ow! Is it, uh, doing it? What? It appears to be broken. Ain't nothing broke. That's the sound it's supposed to make. What sound? You can't hear that. Hear what? Your monster. Hey, that thing's fast! Don't let it get behind you! That's one less thing to hide behind. Think it's well. You're funny? Oh shit. Dude, this moves so fucking fast. Are we even sure this is the right creature? It's not like any of the other uglies here. This one's something special. String them up! That's what I was thinking. I was like, why can't I just trap them? Oh, wait, it's a llama? What is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. What the... Seeing what I'm seeing. Yes, now that is a monster. Oh, we gotta fight that now. A Conti. It's a fish. All right. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get paid.
What in hell's name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. <laughs> Scrapping out. We gotta get out of here now. Curse these volatile ruins. Let's go. Oh, we fly. Oh, I don't like this. Hold on to your butt, people. Rocket, hit the music. On it. Focus on flying, Peter. Someone play this man a song. <laughs> Now we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my butter since Peter Quill instructed. <laughs> Someone give me a hand! Am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Quill! Time to thread the needle. Don't even think about it. The quickest way through is through. Peter! If you're dying with a guilty conscience, uh, assassin. I'm not good at flying. Don't you get through on my ship. My ship. Oh, that's it. Let me drive. You're gonna get us killed. We're not dead yet. Maybe we are, and this is hell. Do not be ridiculous. This place lacks the eternal frost. Yes, I do. Your hell is frozen? The Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt. See? He's so Crew says watch out. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. You want me to take the controls? No, I've got this. Clearly. Watch it. Don't get us killed, Quill. There's still so much stuff I want to oh, steal. My God. Gonna make it. Hit the blue button. What blue button? The one for the secret coasters I added. Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter. Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. <laughs> I like Drax's character. Oh, fuck yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button. We're shot on all sides. We ain't gonna make it. We'll make it, baby. Stretch. Don't relax, yeah. I thought I was gonna die at least twice. Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Okay. Please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore, please don't be Novacore. It is Novacore. Wait, that was just the beginning of the game? What is the long ass prologue? Hallow's Hope. Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We he stole something. That animal. Now. What animal? Oh, we took him. I'm serious, Peter. <laughs> if it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thing. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really. No. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter, Jason, Quill. Really, my middle name? Hey, Corral! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral. I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? 
Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently. Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too. Right. Peter Quill. <laughs> found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class three biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Damn, hide the tech. Uh, hide the creature. Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boring party. Yeah, they didn't give me much time, man. I don't know what to choose, the parts or the animal. I just saved the animal. <laughs> Going to prison. Carlos Hope, Nova Corp Star, Frygate. Just speak to Centurion Corral. Silence, prisoner. The commander has no time to meet with law breaking pirates like you. That's just it, we're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398 2. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of most awesome names. Contributing members Groot, a Flora Colossus, last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, bona fide super genius and a wizard with explosives, definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, Adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. <laughs> That's it. That's all you wrote? It was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to. Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? And if I may, sir? The real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. We don't need a Plan B. I got this. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. What Damn. A jacket. That gold. You know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do. First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business like folk on legitimate like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. There's so much wrong with this arrest. A, no way a kid should be. Here. I'm an official trainee. And B, I'm very, very close friends with the captain. Uh huh. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith, energy, no power. No power, no containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. 
What the flark is a grand unifier? Grand unifier like grand raker. Unifier? Leader Scared of the Church of Universal something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God. Right, Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the captain that I did... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Just to be super clear on the mom. Oh, shit. Oh. I was not ready for that. around the corner we'll be safe there here help me with this ready together on three two one <laughs> go go <sighs> okay we need to keep moving this way you that nikki whoa just stay i knew close. there was something wrong about that church who goes fishing for god in a junkie no i don't have my wiser I don't got the visor. Oh man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I can probably help with the door if we undo these cuffs. Regulation 3B, never undo restraints. Come oh, on, you clearly need my help. No, you're my prisoner, and I got this. <sighs> Obviously. Ah! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. You sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. Whoa! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door. <laughs> Are okay. you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not to crush you or anything. Almost there. Can you please stop squirming? I'm trying to focus. Okay, okay. Yes! Got it! Through here. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord. Or Peter, or. You know, you have a cadet butt saver. Okay. Peter. So, listen. I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. In case you thought the explosion would give them a chance to escape or something. Flark! 
pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid... Easy, does it? There, see? They don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. Are you seriously trying to sneak away on me right now? <laughs> you literally just said I was doing great. You are doing great. Top five best arresting officers I've ever had. Cool. So can you please just show me the same respect you would any other arresting officer? <laughs> Ooh, That's exactly what Arthur what found. Actually, a good outfit. Unbelievable! Yeah, I'm coming, kid. Damn. Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it's. I um I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogram most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. It gives them personality. Very cool. Come on, this way. Look around. Okay. Wow. That's <laughs> just blatantly gonna ignore me and go crawling <laughs> into a dead end. Love the dialogue in this game. To be prisoners must stay close at all times. Really got them all memorized, don't you? Any day now. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not, but what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. You bossy and judgmental. You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's her. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the, you know, fire. I'm gonna yeah, check the other side too. Try to keep up. Hey, you try walking around in cuffs. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. I'm still in charge here, you know. Of course you are. Quick reminder that only one of us knows the way out. Could have fooled me. If this is an attempt to escape your mom's ship, I really need to know. Because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Just, just promise you won't tell anyone about this place. Oh, wow. Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Take your time. Is this your mom? Single-handedly winning the war? Obviously, I know she didn't do it by herself. No. That final push was, uh... It was a massive team effort. Were you there? Uh, I contributed to the war effort... differently. Pirating? Raiding. Which is, you know, the good kind of pirating. Universal translator. Wonder if it speaks Groot. 
Might as well grab it. Can't understand Groot. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also real. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Because the truth is, I wasn't exactly supposed to. You don't want her to know about your secret hideout. I get it. Uh, yes. And also everything else. Everything else, like... Like me having a passkey that overrides parts of the ship. The whole official trainee thing. Um, me being anywhere near the hangar bay. You know, just me in general. You never saw me. I never saw you. Almost at the elevator. We're home free. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hollis name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up. Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner. You're a child. Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa. We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. <laughs> Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarters. Fine. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. <sighs> what, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah. I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> you know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in the elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! What is wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small, okay? I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security, or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors, or even into the sub-level I just found you in. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki, Nikki the past key. What? I know you're hiding something. Uh I'm not I still have feelings for you. <laughs> Excuse me? Not like feelings, feelings, more like emotions. 
You know, because the explosion and me and you and everything we went through back in the war. It was a lot of feelings to pull up. I'm good now. Okay, good. Now, if you don't mind. Look, Mom, I, I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage, log down. Log down, disengage. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. Day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. You have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. Can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. One second thought, only fair to ask you what he wants. Nikki's 12 and we met 12 years, oh shit. 12 year old daughter, you didn't have during the war. Twelve years ago, when we... Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. But then after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same... I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still... Whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units? In three cycles? Wow, uh, um... Okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay, you'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? No, oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it! Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we going to get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay. So we got fined. Do we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's going to shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles? At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. Five. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. 
Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. 